All right, to anybody watching, welcome to Gcast. So as you can see in the title, it says why will, why Gcast will be the biggest animation studio ever. So before I get into that, I like to first of all I like to say thank you for watching. Uh, make sure y'all save, y'all share this, like, comment, subscribe, do all that, whatever. Um, before I get into that, I like to say what is Gcast and how does it work? Why is it important and why will Gcast be why Gcast will be the biggest animation studio ever? So what is Gcast? So Gcast stands for Golden Calf Animation Studio and in the next video I'm going to explain why I chose that name and why it's important for you to choose your name for your business and your branding and it's very important that you choose something that is not only personal but creative because it can start up a conversation. I'm not going to go too much into that because I'll be going like if I get into that now like I'm just like we're not going to get to the point. So yeah, it's going to be the animation studio that I start um, it's going to be helping animators with social media marketing, with monetizing, with um, improving their art. Because aside from improving their art and improving their animations, um, nobody, I've never really seen anybody really talk about animation when it comes down to business. And I've never really seen anybody talk about content creation for animators as much as they should because there's just such an open space for uh, marketing uh, just in the art world in general and a lot of artists never really like for whatever reason they think because because you know they have to wait like a couple months for you know the new season of whatever show or they have to wait a year for you know their favorite artist new album that they think you know this type of art takes a long time and that you can't just um, post every day. And I'll be going into strategies that can help you post. And you don't really have to post videos every day. Um, there's multiple other things like community and polls and all that, which I'll be going into in other videos. But yeah, I've like I you know I looked in the animation space and I really I like I've always loved the not 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 and like I've loved animation like because you know everybody does. I mean everybody has like at least like a cartoon that you know, they've liked, but I, I always like the behind the scenes, the breakdown, whenever, you know, whenever the characters are moving and uh, like you can either just hear the voice or just hear the music or just hear the sound effects. And, it, you know, it, it creates this ambient and ominous feeling, this feeling like, hey, you know, we can add this or we can add like it, it kind of like, like it's something swells up in me every time I see like um, an animation breakdown or mainly like the behind the scenes of uh, major studios whenever they show um, you know the storyboards and the animatics of you know their animations rather than just the final product and it helps you um, not not just as the artist but as the uh, viewer and consumer and the customer to really like respect and enjoy um, the whole process and the end product a lot more so you know, I wanted to post more about that, especially when, whenever I'm aiming, maybe, maybe I'll have my own show at 25. Maybe I'll have my own show at 30. Um, you know, I'm not going to rush that. I mainly want to just focus on building my business because I'm planning, like, as I said, to have GCAS be the largest and most profitable animation studio of all time. And the reason why I find that important is because, you know, you look at studios now and you look at how they operate and you look at, for instance, Cartoon Network. Like you look at the cartoons they had before and then the, you look at the cartoons they have now and it's like, the fuck? And, and you, re you realize that a lot of them don't really care about the, like, like after, I don't know how to say it. They, they care. They, they they only really go where the money goes. They, they don't really want long-term money. If they can make money, like if they can make a million dollars now versus making $10 million over two years, they're going to choose a million dollars like right now. Like what I mean right now, I don't mean over a year. I mean like right now, like right now, right now, which, you know, is obviously um, the, the wisest choice, especially if, you know, 
like if they they ran into trouble and now they're in debt or in they're in the black or uh or you know they wanted to take that million and invest it in something else you know obviously like business wise that's the smartest thing but usually they don't really do that they choose these uh bland uninspiring uh quite goofy shows to show to children who kind of, they're they're watching it but at the same time you know they're on the Nintendo Switch or you know they're they're doing something else like they're watching it but they're not watching it and you know that's on the consumer side and on the side of production you know animators don't really get treated well they like especially in Japan they don't really get paid that much um as the showrunner, you feel like you have as much freedom as you can, but really it's like the studio's above you. And I'm not saying it's like this is just this completely evil thing. What I'm saying is that there's another way, and I want to be the person that can tell you, hey, you can go this other way. You can start your own business. You can start your own freelance gig. You can start your own um animation studio whether that be small whether that be large whether that be just to um you know make content for other people whether that's to you know fulfill whatever dream you have like maybe you want to make your own show maybe you want to make your own movie i really want that to be a reality for people rather than expecting like oh i just have to like like the only way to make it is go to college get an, an insane amount of debt and then go work for some animation studio where I'm probably gonna do the grunt work for the small ones at least. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna get laid off, and then I'm having to scrounge around for jobs. And then maybe I'll get a big studio um, position, but I won't I won't be a leader. And then I have to wait years and years and years to be a leader. And hopefully maybe I'll be a showrunner and finally make my own show. And even if I make my own show, somebody else is telling me how to run my show with the characters. Um, are going through how they should act, what they can say, what they can't say, rather than like you make you build you 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 work some jobs to make like to pay bills and pay for your business. Not not like I, I'm not gonna explain, but yeah, like you pay your bills and then whatever is left, you invest it in your business, and you know over time as it grows and grows and grows, you eventually get to the point where you're financially stable and you can pay your bills without really worrying about it. You don't have to work jobs that you might not like or you you like, but it's not really this it's not really bringing out your full potential. And instead, you can actually accomplish whatever you wanted to accomplish. Uh What else did I want to say? And all I have to say is, you know, when it comes down to social media, mainstream media, and just the animation industry in general, I haven't really seen anybody talk about, you know, business or talk about uh, content creation as much as they should. And I want to be the guy who at least kicks the door down so that me like somebody who wants to build their own studio and other people who want to build their own studio or uh, just work on projects that they actually want to work on can actually do it rather than have to like accept just working for a studio or just, you know, working for freelance for years and years and years and years and years. And, years. and then, you know, whatever money they saved up, now they can hire people and now they can do their studio. Rather than that, it's like, okay, if we go down this route, it's going to be it's going to be a little painful but there's more reward and it's much it's faster and more efficient than spending years doing like eating shit to finally get what you want and that's all i really have to say about it i'd like to say thank y'all for watching i'm going to be posting um well i'm i'm going to i'm going to do everything i can to post videos every day but i will definitely be posting every day and i will be going over uh certain strategies that can help you post every day because i mean it's, it's pretty simple like I'm, I'm making one video 
and what's going to happen is this one video is going to go on Vimeo, it's going to go on Instagram, it's going to go on YouTube, it's going to go on Facebook, and it's going to go all over the place. Um, I don't really have any advice on editing or thumbnails or anything of that sort yet. I don't really have any advice on um, animation yet. However, I would like for you guys to... However, it would be a pleasure if you guys follow me through this journey as I start from where I am, where I only really have my phone, which I'm recording on, and my Lenovo C340, which um, I'll be kind of editing. Not 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 editing, editing, but, you know, kind of editing and um, distributing uh, my content through. So i like to say thank you guys for watching. Make sure y'all like. I mean, no, no, no. Save, then share, then like then comment, then subscribe to all my platforms. Um, I'm going to be having my own website soon. I'm going to have my own Patreon set up soon. Um, I might start off with Linktree. I, I don't... Like, Linktree's all right, but at the same time, it's like they, they just keep bothering me with emails, and it's just better to have your own website, which I'll go into the future. But thank you guys for watching, and I hope y'all have a great day.